my god. Oh, and mine's It collide. started. Mm. Mm. Meathead on Mushrooms mm. is brought to you by me. Because Caulfield. we don't have anybody that listens to it yet, and I nobody will it. give us any money. So I'm paying for it myself. Yeah. I'm helping. Kind of. Are you? Yeah. Well, you're here. <laughs> I guess that's helping. Angelo's here. Angelo. Caller. Um, so probably let's talk about me All right. for a second. Let's talk about you, Kyle. Um, I'm a trainer. Yeah. I am a, a a very handsome mm. shirtless model. That's like, literally like what to, he does for money, folks. He's not making that up. I I uh, I I take my shirt off, and, and people get give paid. you money for that. Yeah, that's fucking absurd. I, I, I've done no less than eleven jobs mm. that require me to have my shirt off. Yeah, I'm it's, actually I'm actually working tomorrow with. Uh, of you, you, you ever hear of um, Amy Schumer? Yeah, I fucking love Amy Schumer. Um, I'm doing a sketch for really? tomorrow. You're, I'm and really I'm not, jealous. And I'm not going to give anything away, but my shirt's going to be off. Of course it is. Isn't it weird that people literally pay you for symmetry? It's not even, like, it's, that's what it is at the end of the day. It's symmetry and a low body fat percentage. Yeah, that, I was, I was thinking about that the other day. Why um, are we obsessed with that? Models. The idea of models. Yeah, I was just on a model shoot. Right. About that. Yeah, it, perfect. So... There are people that have been able to encapsulate the form, the lowest common denominator of human form. The extremes. The, the lowest common denominator, mm -hmm. meaning like the, the most people agree that this is what you should look like for, yeah. for a certain type, whatever. And they've been able to make a whole career off being the... the that lowest common that, denominator. Yeah, exactly. And what's weird enough about today is it's that common denominator. At one point, it was who is who is the most uh, fertile or who could be the best for, to provide for a family, like maybe a couple thousand years ago, right? Right. Today, the beauty is absurdly skinny. Uh, it's almost like it's almost genderless. Like when I was looking at those models the other day, this Russian girl came in for the shoot that I was working on, and she was almost completely genderless. If she didn't have breasts. She she could have been or hair she could have been anything like it was just the most obscure ambiguous looking human yet we find that as beauty it was like what what the fuck I like, mean she was hot but I only think she's hot because I'm told to that's a that's a good point because it's it's shifting toward that we, it's shifting toward the alien? complete androgynous look yeah you know what I mean it's not like, sexual like, at not all even almost. anything it's like blank slate no who can be the most I wouldn't want to have sex with her plain <laughs> seriously no man I mean some of the highest paid like there, there's a few models that, um, that train up. at our gym, and and a couple of them are like in the top ten list of like top yeah. models that exist. I've seen some know? of them. It's pretty crazy. And they're they're really not that that tra right? fortunate. Looking. And it, when you're there, and they're not, you know, you're, they're in the gym, and they're Photoshop not done up, and you can see like their hair is like falling out because they're probably not very well. There's a lot of chemicals in their head every day. They're 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 not. They're, they don't have their nutrition game on. No. Well, <laughs> the girl, when she came in, half the shoot was just getting chemicals basically on her face. So makeup mm -hmm. and other bullshit for her hair. And, you know, we ordered food because we were there for like five hours. Like she, she got like water and fake meat. <laughs> like, and she was working all day. It's like, that's all right, man. Like, awesome. You literally, yeah. it's not even a carb at this point. Like, it's pretty, it's just, it's just water. Mm -hmm. And why, like, why do that? You know, for like that symmetry, I, that for the lowest I, I, common denominator. I moved to New York to be a model, though. I want. I thought I was gonna be the fucking the greatest model of all time. Like, <laughs> I thought you like, were an actor first. No, I mean, well, I, I wanted to do that. Too, okay, but I had no experience in that. I knew that was I could, the goal. I, modeling? I knew I could model right away. Oh man, I don't know if I. Like well, I knew that. I could do that right away. That's money. Yeah, like I, you don't have to learn. <laughs> so you just. There's no, I mean, <laughs> Almost there's no model schools. There's no model. Really, no model academy. No, yeah. Nah, man. I mean, I'm sure there's people <laughs> that like that are trying to teach people. Should we introduce ourselves, like, so people? I don't know. think so. I, I think, think we think should mess it up. You think so? All right. Al, okay. You're Alec. You're I 21. Am. I am. You're a mess. A little bit. Um, Why am I a mess? I feel alright. Yeah, you're you're, you're a uh, not a mess like mess in a bad way. You're a mess of like of of all kinds of different characteristics. Yeah, I'm a conglomeration. I can't of... quite put my finger on you. That's probably why we're friends. Well, it's it's definitely why we're friends. Uh, yeah, there's there's this generation of ADD. 
people. <laughs> That's what they said I had growing up. They oh, like, they said they, they gave me Ritalin for like all ten of us. years. Every every single person that's like that's my friend. Yeah. They all have at some point been diagnosed with ADD. Yeah. But but I don't think it's a problem. I don't, I don't think the ADD is is a bad thing. It strived me. It strived myself <clears> anyway. <throat> I can't speak for everybody, but towards all these like weird niche things that I really like to do now. Yeah, that's and what's get fun, man. At it. it of course, obsession. We're getting our hunting license. Yeah, like this week. Yeah, we hunter's well, license. Two, yeah. Two, two weeks. It's two, two days, weeks, yeah, yeah. by the way. Yeah, I saw. It's all good. That's going to be fantastic. Then we have to, uh, we, we do have to do a bow hunting course as well, but it's not as long. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, yeah, so I mean, I guess so people have, like, have an idea. I mean, you're Kofi. Well, you want last names on it? Yeah, right? You can use my name. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait. So, yeah, we the, we want to call this Meathead on Mushrooms. Yeah, that's the name. And, and I'm a little bit concerned that People are gonna take the name too seriously. Oh, they should. Um, I'm not on mushrooms. Not right now. Not right now. No. You know, I've never actually done mushrooms. Yeah. Um, never. My friends tried. Uh, I had it in my mouth once. Never. I know. Look, yeah. hey, Angel well, is looking at me like he's like, oh, but you this, don't know. It's on the list. It, it is on the list. You don't know. He's like, you, you don't even know about that other dimension that's out there. That well, you can well, just go to. We're hunting for it. It's available whenever you want, and you just got to eat this this plant. Isn't a w- thing that grows out of the ground. You know what's really weird about just mushrooms in general, especially what? like psilocybin. Like most mushrooms are more closely related to human beings than any plant on the planet. And it's really? not, yeah, and it's not even really. Well, they aren't even really plants, right? They're not. Like they're, they, it's a fungus, but right. it's still closer to humans. But and some people theorize it's not even from Earth. Like it might have come from like an asteroid crashing down a while ago. Yeah, my my thought with that is though an asteroid is like, isn't that a big reach? You know, is it though? There's I mean, a lot of mites. There is. <laughs> might have come through another dimension. Right. <laughs> might have um, through God's might have, asshole. Yeah, just might have, came up. Whatever. Under, uh, I mean, like when you go to that mite, then you you put yourself in the same level. You know, the playing uh, field. Uncertainty. Of, yeah. Like what God just came down and you know put them in the ground and they grew forever. I guess it's just as possible. Right. Like that's technically. That's yeah. I don't know. Fair enough. But there's, the, I mean, if all life probably came from a, the same place. Mm-hmm. Then there must be relationships. The same place as in know? like a sentient being or no, like no, no. one or like at the very beginning. Like yeah. did you watch a cosmos? Not this week I'm going to for this weekend. Who uh Neil deGrasse Tyson's so good. He's amazing. He's so good, man. He it, the, He's he Carl did, Sagan of the modern era. Yeah. Oh my god. And the, the speech at the end that he gave. I heard about the, the speech. End? I heard it was just very heartwarming and talked about oh, how Carl Sagan. Dude, I took I got, to his office I got and, chills. Yeah. Um but he, he did a cool thing. He he you know, he realized that the the entire age and lifespan of the universe is so hard to comprehend. Like sixteen billion years is too hard. It's basically so he put impossible. it he put it on one calendar year, right? So the Big Bang, you know, January first, mm-hmm. where we are right now, December thirty first. One of the, one of the craziest stats that that he uh, he pulled up was if if that's the history of the universe. You know how long like life has been on on Earth. Not even. I don't even think a single percentile. It's like, Not even a single percentile. What's? Well, I think it's a percentile, but well, it was it'd be like, like I so want to say it was like a day ago. <laughs> it was like <laughs> yesterday, like December twenty ninth. Oh my god, you know, god. that's crazy. <sighs> but that I mean, that's what we know of. I mean, I guess it could have happened Again, a lot. Gets into that whole probably mite a lot. Thing. Yeah, but then we're talking about mites. Yeah. Um, it, we'll like leave mice. that for a podcast where I'm actually on mushrooms. Yeah, you want you want to do a podcast on do mushrooms. a podcast on mushrooms. I feel like that's a terrible idea. Is it? I've, I've never done it. I've never you done it me. either. I kind of feel like we might freak out. Do people freak out? Have you ever freaked out on mushrooms? No, but if you take a lot, you could. Maybe if you take a small dose, it'd be alright. What's the most you've ever seen somebody do on mushrooms? Yeah, I've seen a friend do an eighth by himself. Is that a lot? That's, that's a lot. lot. That's, that's a, a lot. lot. That's a lot. A, like he went on a journey. He 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 do you, he met do you think God. That's a good idea to do an A. It was his first time. No, I think you should incrementally like you start low, maybe like 0. 0.5 grams, yeah, and then incrementally increase until you get to that point where like, all right, it's time for me to meet my ego, start challenging everything I've ever done. I think that's I think that's the route. You got to know what you're doing. Like, would you drink a whole bottle of Jameson the first time you ever drink alcohol? No, right? It's stupid. <laughs> Why the f- but people do that, like on the reg. Dude, I know. It's ridiculous. You know, the the first time I ever drank liquor, I just drank a bottle of vodka. 
why that's what I did. Why does everyone go to vodka? Because like, I didn't know. I you didn't, too, Angelo. Angelo too, vodka. Bottle I didn't of vodka. know how to do it. Me you know, I, my, I had no p- printed plan. Yeah. My parents were like, listen, this is how you... My parents were like religious zealots. Yeah, mine like, too. Okay, so they were like, yeah, alcohol's the devil. Meanwhile, they would come home with, drunk. We live in Vegas all mm-hmm. the time. So they would just come home just like, eh, whatever, they're gonna fuck them. They're gonna <laughs> come home drunk. And it's like, no, you can't because Jesus, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and they were like, still talking nonsense. All the time. All the time. It's like, I can't... Yeah. She, my mother, same person. She'd be like, "Don't have sex either. That's really bad for you." She had a kid. She's seven kids later. She's like, "She had seven. It's like, are you insane? I can read. I can see this stuff. What the fuck is that? Like, what is it? It's when, fear. It's fear. You know, people on like they're unsure of the unknown. Well, no, they're so certain uh, the dangers of certain things, and they're so adamant about warning other people about it. But then they're doing it. You know what it is? It's because they don't know how to like. In, in certain people's case, most people don't know how to use moderation or how to like do something properly, right? Alcohol could be used properly to have a really good time. Like if you do it right, like you have a fantastic time. It's awesome. For sure. It's a great drug. Not that many people would would drink alcohol if it, if it didn't have benefit. Right. There's obviously benefit. Social. I don't, know, I don't know about health, but definitely social. Yeah. For sure. People are happier. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a vibe. Whereas, um, you know. Things like psilocybin, Schedule Two, I think it is. Uh-huh. Th- things that technically have no medical purpose, but yeah. probably the most helpful for health reasons, is 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 like dangerously illegal, which is which is it's so ass backwards. It doesn't. I mean, I I, I let's see. I've, the only real psychedelic journey I've, I've taken mm-hmm. was on acid. You skipped mushrooms and went to acid. Yeah. Tell me about this. It was powerful, man. Um, I was in law school. Okay. I was in, my, I was in law school. In, okay. I was in law school. I went to law school at West Virginia University. Um, and I went because I didn't know what I was. Fair enough. I didn't know what to do. You just knew it was a good I, option. I, I was working at a bank before that. and it's doing all the things you're supposed to do. A lot of lawyers in came quotes. in and they seemed to make more money and they seemed to be like really confident. So I was like, oh, okay, that, I could do that. You're from a small town, right? Yeah, a small town. West Virginia. So, uh. So I took my LSAT and I did good enough to get in to okay. West Virginia, which is not that hard. Okay. And uh, I was just skating by. I was really just partying. Yeah. So, uh, you know, did a bunch of drugs. Fun. Um, I, you know, tried cocaine and ecstasy and uh, all that stuff. And then one night, like uh, in my second second year at like 4 a.m., somebody was like, here, do you want to try this acid? 4 a.m. Right? And I was like... Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Put it in, put it in my face. I was already like I was already a mess. You know, I had already been uh-huh. up, you know, doing blow till like four AM. That's weird, bro. Um Yeah, so I did it and um I went out on the porch and I just watched the 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 leaves. They it was the fall. They were mm. they were changing colors. Nice. And um and I sat there and stared at the the most amazing thing that I had ever seen and it was such such a simple thing and I was looking at the world completely different I was I I I must have experienced some sort of ego death because it really affected me after the fact because when I when it was over I instantly had a lot of clarity on a lot of foggy subjects in my Mm. life I I knew I didn't want to be a lawyer I knew that beforehand, but I I wasn't addressing it. You were masking it. So it was like, it became very simple. Life became very much more like a game where you can just like put together the pieces easily. And I was like, okay, so I'm not going to be a lawyer. Uh, I'll finish this out uh, because I like it here (laughs) because I was having fun. Right. But I didn't want to be a lawyer. Um, And and yeah, I realized I was surrounding myself with probably not the best people. Hmm. I was like doing stuff that was destructive. So I, I, um, decided I was going to get in really good shape. So I stopped everything bad mm. and I just started taking up everything good. And I was, I was working out more. I was I read up on nutrition and how to like, how to manipulate your body. Yeah. Was it mostly like hypertrophy type stuff? Or? No. Uh, well, you know, it, it started just with really simple techniques. Yeah. It compound started. Lifts. Yeah. Compound lifts, uh, five sets of 10. Okay. Repeat four or five weeks, change it up, go, um, what I got five sets of five, yeah. same lifts. Repeat a four, few weeks. Yeah. Go three sets of ten. So repeat. Ba- real good baby. Ba- Very ba- simple six. stuff, but just getting really good at the the important lifts yeah. and training every day. 
and watching what I ate. Not just watching what I ate, calculating what I yeah, ate. Getting a pen and paper, writing it down. How many calories do I do I burn every day? How many do I need to consume in order to lose weight? How much protein do I need to eat? How you, much how many carbs can I eat? How much fat should I have? And writing it down and then writing down, okay, if this is what I need every day, what's my breakfast? Okay, what's my morning snack? What's my lunch? What's my afternoon snack? What's my dinner? Going to the grocery store. What do I need for all these meals? Make sure I have all these meals. Going home, preparing each meal, making sure each meal is like ready before the day happens. I just, I, I did it. I just, I, all the shit that I knew I, I should do, I just did. Yeah. And, and there was no resistance. Like it, 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 it just, this LSD experience just shattered yeah. whatever resistance there was to keep me from doing what I knew I should do. And, and, and what's crazier is I moved to New York. I, um, I just walked into peak and said, I'm ready. Got a job. One of the best <laughs> training facilities in, in the, the world, in the, in the world, basically. And I, I, I walked in with confidence and with like, I just kind of I didn't see it as a question, you know. I was I was I was ready, and that's and that's like here I am. This is what you do, and this is all attributed to your your, your almost ego destroying clar- yeah destruction. Clarity. And you feel and this is definitely attributed to a psychedelic, absolutely. And that's the goal. I mean, that's I mean that's why I want to try like psilocybin. That'd be my drug of choice. Like I want to take like a good amount and just challenge myself. Yeah. How many that, how many times have you done it? I've never. I've only done it. Uh, I was fed it once, but I threw it up. You were fed it. Yeah, a friends in what high school. I have friends in high school who are dicks. Basically, is what that means. And they put it on a piece of pizza I was eating. Whoa. And uh, I was so paranoid back then. I was super religious, and I wouldn't even smoke. I wouldn't even jerk off. Like I was just super like a zealot. What? Yeah. So wait, wait, wait. how old were you? Uh, between the ages of uh, during this time, yeah, uh, like sixteen or seventeen, maybe eighteen. Or you hadn't jerked off, or you had fir- jerked off, and you felt really bad about it. I, uh, the first time I ever jerked off, I was like 15, maybe. I'd be like, I purposely didn't all throughout middle school and shit. Jesus. I know, right? Religion is a killer. Um, but then I felt super bad about it, like around 16 and stuff. So, and I didn't do anything else. So, like, as soon as I turned 17, my friends, like, fed me, tried feeding me this pizza that had mushrooms on it. And, like, I, like, spit it out. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you don't just spike me with a. How'd you know that they were. Because as soon as I knew they all had mushrooms on them, because oh. they were going to do it later that you day, just, and I up. took a bite, and they all smiled and laughed. Yeah. I was like, no. So, but yeah, short, shortly thereafter, I smoked weed for the first time, and I started uh, mixing things up. Uh, just um, not drug-wise, but just... Uh, mm-hmm. Trying stuff. Just cognitively, like, just trying out new things. Mm-hmm. Like, started taking training really seriously. That's when I lost most of the weight. Like, I used to be really fat, and you know. But, uh, it's crazy, man. You know, it, it, you know what it is? Psychedelics are a culture killer. They, they, yes, the, the, yeah, that's the, a really good way they, to put it. They break down your perception of the world without culture. And when you can do that, it gets simple. Like, culture fucks everything up. It allows it really, you to put in your own... really brainwashes you, man. Yeah, well, it's, it allows you to change your paradigm of thinking because everything we thought prior to that is what people instilled in us. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily what we wanted to do. Yeah. Everything. So as soon as you do something so ego shattering, like an um, acid trip in your case, like okay, I'm gonna do exactly what I want to do now because I can. Like you, <clears throat> you remove the limitations. Like if you didn't do that, you probably would have fucking barely skated by, became maybe a half-assed lawyer, mm. made maybe ninety grand a year or some shit like that, That's and exactly what it retired was. at forty-five and maybe would have been miserable. Two divorces by then, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the standard American life. Right, which is. In fucking insane. And it's crazy. That's what people think they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, that's the norm. If you're not doing that, you're a weirdo. Like, you're... Like, people... I was talking... I forgot who I was talking about this the other day, but, like... like I don't... Like, I, I look at all my friends, especially those who, like, graduated they're already from their four-year or whatever. They have a job now working in an office. Right? They're working in the office doing their eight hours a day. And they're only doing that because right now they're getting 40 grand a year right out of college, right? And as soon as they're done doing that, five more years, we'll get, I'll get 60. Right, so that's really cool. I get and now I get to go on vacations maybe twice a year, and then right from five more years from there, I'll get a hundred grand a year. Cool, I'll be what thirty five at this point. Great, a hundred grand a year. I could get an apartment in Manhattan. Fantastic. Five more years, I get a hundred and twelve. I don't know, but I'm working towards that goal. And then you finally get to forty eight or fifty five, however the fuck old you are. Like, cool. Now I could do stuff. 
No, I can't. I'm 56 years old. I'm out of shape because I'm fucking anteriorly tilted all day in front of a computer, and I hate myself because I have to take five Xanaxes each day. Right. That sounds fantastic. It's awful. Why the fuck <laughs> does anyone subscribe to that thinking? It makes zero sense <laughs> at but all. But it makes all the sense in the world Why? when you subscribe to culture. Okay, like when right, you subscribe right. to the media and what you're supposed to do. Fox News, yeah. CNN, all that shit. Yeah, it's, it's really fucked. It's amazing. It's weird. It's what but, it is. But what's cool is like there's this beautiful option to go around that system. And it's available. It's only available for people who If you're willing stumble, to break the law. If you stumble upon it though. Yeah, you have to stumble upon it. And you, you really yeah. have to break through like You have social. like friends that do it or you, right. you're not, nobody's just gonna, there's no normal no. person that's going along and they're just gonna be like, you there, need to try mushrooms. Yeah, there like, isn't like a, a there, no way. <laughs> there no isn't way. like. And then. Imagine how they'd even go about it. Like, how would they even go about finding it? You have to talk it's about. So you have to talk to some weirded beard guy who just got back from Burning Man who <laughs> smells weird. Like, it's odd. You no one wants to do to that. The, you would just go to like <laughs> the weirdest people you know, like your gas station attendant. Well, the weirdest. <laughs> like, <laughs> if, hey, you, if you're uh, like, uh, if you're uh, Joe Schmo who works at a law firm, the weirdest person you know is that guy that fucking gives you your yeah, sandwich you at the corner deli yeah, every know. morning. So how the f- like that guy's not going to change his whole thought. I mean, process. I don't even know where I'd get mushrooms. And right I, now? And I, I have a, uh, we a, a weed out. delivery guy that, I, yeah. I mean, I know his his sign. <laughs> like, yeah. I, know, I know his yeah. whole story. But I don't even know where I'd go about getting mushrooms. We can figure that out easily. Well, no, I wasn't asking. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know right how, much, how much information don't I should Don't stop. Do None. Stop. No, no, no. I'm, there's something different. Relax. Okay. Relax. Um, I have friends mm-hmm. who have ordered, um, this is legal by the way, you could order uh, s- uh, the spores in a syringe of shrooms what? Uh, to your home. Yeah, uh, my friend did this, okay. uh, a friend of mine. He ordered the spores from Europe legally, uh, got the spores, um, got the incubator, injected them into the, what they call cakes. It's just basically these nutrient-dense blocks where uh, basically plant matter could grow. Injects the spores in a bunch no. of them, right? Puts it in this very dark container, puts it in his closet, Six to eight weeks no. later, he now has a Tupperware full of sh- shrooms that are ready to dry and you could eat. And how, he did. How in the world is that legal? It's legal because spores, <clears throat> just like you could buy uh, cannabis seeds, legal. Spores, what? legal. Yeah, you could order it online. Legal. Huh? Buying the seeds, yeah. I s- promise you. I, I think uh, you're making some shit up. I have a friend who's done this. A friend. Angela, what do you think? Done this. Do you think this is made up? I think it's made up. Angela, you go, can, on, you Angela, can go have on the Google. Weed seeds. Go on, yes, go on the Google and go to HighTimes.com, a very legal <laughs> magazine website, and go to their seed it section. Depends what state you're in. Okay, well, New York, in Jersey, and uh, you're, you're and other it. states, it's legal. You can order does it doesn't matter. From <laughs> Wait, yeah. so it's state by state. Yeah. What's why is it, is it the whatever they put in the syringe is not. A banned substance. No, a sp- that's it's a spore. It's just a spore. It's a spore. But you can't. They, they would have to specifically target the sp- spores that now. Spore. What, what's illegal is the chemical psilocybin. What mm. isn't illegal is a spore that creates it. Whoa, that's insane, man. Are you at High Times? Cool. Go to their seed section. It should be somewhere around there, or shop maybe. Maybe it's in the shop. But regardless, where uh, you could procure these, like the cannabis seeds, legally during certain vendors. Well, I mean, if we're gonna, if we're talking about all this, this is we should we should cover this. Why do people get all fucked up on this stuff? On what? Mushrooms. Fucked up in the sense that they get weed. They don't want it legal. Is that fucked? acid like that? Why do they want fucked up? No, no, no. Like, why does it go bad? Because it, it goes bad. There's yeah. a reason it's legal or illegal. Mm. There is. There is. It like obviously it fucks up some people's lives. But so does sandwiches. Sure. Yeah, and like it may be misinterpreted, but what happens when like what is that? Why why do people? That's human, that's human nature. People abuse things. Yeah, and plus it's not regulated, right? So if this was legal, if it was regulated, it would be like aspirin. No one, if aspirin was illegal and and knew it was this like hangover cure, like pregnant women and people with constant migraines would get it from a drug dealer and take like thirty of them and fucking die. Like it would be on the news every fucking day. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, because yeah. it's not regulated. That's the problem. And there's that, no education. Yeah, you're you're onto that. We don't have we have we have trainers for for fitness yeah. because it's fucking dangerous. Yeah, because weights are dangerous. If you don't man. know how to do a compound lift, if you don't know what you're doing, you're and you're just, you watch. Imagine you could just die. watching a YouTube video. You never worked out before. Mm-hmm. You watch a YouTube video. You're like, wow, that guy's like, okay, so he's doing about four, four, four plates on there. Imagine just walking into your gym, th- putting on four plates. Time to back do four squats, plates. Yeah, <laughs> stand up, try to try to squat. You're down like 135 and pounds. And die, and you don't have fucking. That could kill you. 
It really could. Yep. Um, and that's because, and and people would do that if there were, if it was illegal and there were no guides. Yeah. We have guides. We have trainers. People who like, done they've it done themselves. it. They've done it themselves. They've they've been through the ups and downs. They've seen how it can go bad right. if you overdo it. They can see what happens like if you, you use improper form yeah. and. They're and they're there to like they're, they're to guide they're, you they're, through it. So basically, good comparison. Yeah. For for psyl- uh, psychedelics in this case, let's use ayahuasca as an example or, or DMT. Right. right. What is a trainer? It's a physical shaman. Yeah. What is what is it's a fitness shaman? It's a fitness shaman. Like we're here to guide you, so you don't fucking kill yourself because without us, you probably will. Yeah. You know Shaman's I mean? such a. It's a douchey term. It's, it's a become, douchey word. <laughs> it's become really like but synonymous like, with douchebaggery. We, we need a better word for that. That. Teacher is the same thing, or doctor, teacher, doctor, doctor. But yeah, imagine if there was a professional psychedelic uh, guide. But there should be. Well, and what if they were as common as trainers? And they, you know, you went to these people, and uh, and and they like be, they talk to you just like we're doing now. They yeah. interviewed you. They're like, "Where's this person coming like through screening from? Screening and all that. Where's their? Where are they at? What? What's? What do they need? You know, like how likely would they?" Uh, react well to this or react poorly to this? Yeah. Do they need to do any Low dosage, steps? Do they need to do any steps before this? Do they need to come to any any understandings yeah. before maybe they, they just start need therapy or, something? Exactly. Like yeah. maybe they don't even need psychedelics. Maybe they just like they yeah. just need to hash because it's not out for everyone. Person, no. And but like if you have sh- real good guides and people that have a lot of experience with it, mm. and they're trying to do the best they can for this person, just like a wo- a trainer would for their client. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man, I, I would be willing to bet that, like, the bad scenarios, the bad... Greatly reduced. Yeah. Greatly. Just like... Uh, I mean, really. Uh, they would still happen, but even if they did happen, the, there would be someone there to help them through yeah. that. Look look what was happening Just before. like an injury if your training was, yeah. you know? Look what happened before, like, real modern medicine. What was a doctor's job? Really just to amputate limbs. Yeah. Like, oh, you're shot? Well, pff, all right. That's all they could do. Here's a saw, and I'm going to burn the shit out of that wound now so you don't fucking bleed out. And with, uh, you know, education and proper timing, people figure this shit out. So is that going to happen? In my lifetime, in, in, in this my culture? lifetime, am I going to be able to offer services? Uh, in North America? Psych- psychonaut services. In the in United States? Yeah. I doubt it. In your lifetime. Really? In other countries, maybe. Uh, I mean... Oh, you found it? You found it, uh, Angela? I mean, the sites will let you ship to the United States. There you go. Really? And a friend of mine, he's he, they will. Yeah, my friend yeah, of mine. I, I mean, I've seen documentaries where it's totally legal for ordering them. You know, but so they'll still arrest you whether or not you actually get we charged uh, is like a, another story. But they'll yeah. they don't like the fact that this is happening, right? I mean, it happens a lot. Like, yeah, <laughs> like if my friend could get away doing this with cannabis and psilocybin, odds are you're pretty good. Do you think we're gonna end up on like an NSA list? I certainly hope so. It means we're doing something good. <laughs> That's a good point. If we're not on an NSA list, I'd be kind of sad. We're CNN, basically. Do you, do you cover up your uh, your cameras? No, I do. Cover up your cameras? Yeah. What are they going to see me jerking off? Yeah, cool. Ew. Eh. I make oh. eye contact too, like the whole do time. You? Just You're like, hey, what's just, like, up? Just like gorilla fist it. Hey. Stare at him. Like, what's up? I know you're getting paid ten dollars an hour to what's see up, me jerk NSA? off, bro. In Utah, wherever the fuck um, you're is. I think they're going to be able to stop it. I think we're ten. I think we're five years away from like the NSA just giving up. I do. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna. I think it's gonna come to a point where people. Are gonna they're gonna have to stop. Well, there's gonna be a huge industry. You want no, like? A, I don't think. I don't think want they're like gonna a, have to stop. I, I just think they're not gonna be able to do it. What was it? What was it called over there? Uh, something Springs. Fuck. I think in Egypt. Whatever. Regardless, mm-hmm. they can't. I mean, the United States government is really good at keeping people from getting to the point to where they openly riot in the street or openly protest. Like, every time we get really, really close to that, they back off. Like, think about at the end of Bush's uh, presidency. People were really fucking upset with the economy and all the things that had happened in 2008, right? At the end, so so what happens? Ah, oh, we get a really cool hip and jive black president now. People yeah. are happy. Change is the new word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, we're calmed down a little bit when now. When that happens... And and more and more, I, I pay attention to everything that makes news. Mm-hmm. I look at it as if this is strategically placed. Right. Like everything is That's strategically placed. So everything that makes news, there's a reason that that happened. I was even, dude, I got high as 
fuck. And I was texting you during this movie. Yeah, we were talking about it. We were talking, uh, I was texting 300. during 300. Yeah. 300. <laughs> it was fantastic. Oh my God. Our, I don't know if anybody a... has seen this. This movie <laughs> is fantastically gay. It's homoerotic to the extreme. It's, it's very, it's, it's awesomely gay. I mean. Yeah. And this is not in a negative connotation. Like it's just, it no, is what it no, is. No, no, no. It, what it is, yeah. is it's the greatest movie ever for the guy that's Totally not in- quite out of the closet. Yeah, yet. like like he's like not ready to tell. He's his the friends. dude on the message board, like calling people faggots, but he's going to you know. Yeah, see 300 he's the guy. Really, he's, really well, he's he's the politician that's like right. You know, bang, reaching you know. his hand into the the toilet yeah, seat next to him, then, to see then, what's up, and then yeah, <laughs> in an and airport, then, and then pushing anti-gay legislation. Yeah, he's the biggest hypocrite, and he's in the front row. Yeah, just maybe he's jerking it. I don't know. I think, <laughs> Now I'm starting. <laughs> Were, is that was that you in the front row? May, uh, was um, was I wearing a trench coat? Um, but the 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 hair gel, the level of hair gel in the movie was was ridiculous. Hair gel, hair gel, manicured body hair, no chest hair. Um, well, no, just enough. Just enough. Just enough. Just enough for a smooth and, ride. And the, smooth the ride. you know, n- <laughs> spoiler alert. But the. The main bad character is this super hot girl that Ava just Green? wants to get fucked. Like she's just a nympho that wants to get fucked. And, and the main character, the dude, is just like constantly uh like resisting. Like, oh, I can't fuck her. Like, what? oh, I can't do it. And then like he even started fucking her. And then he like stopped halfway into it. And he like pulled away and he's like resisted. He resisted the vagina. Jesus. And uh and what does that mean? Dude, this girl, what is that representing? This girl is so hot. Ava Green, if she's I was dangerously if beautiful. I was having sex with her, it would take a pack of of wild coyotes <laughs> to boom. pull me off. Okay, yeah. and this guy just like pulls off. It, I mean, it was you would die thrusting. It seemed too obvious, and it seemed like, and I even I, being high and super introspective at the moment, I was like, this has something to do with like, um, like, like, per, like either. Either getting everybody out of the closet. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, okay, everyone. Maybe, yeah, maybe like they're it's, trying to push the, gay propaganda. Not like gay pro- propaganda as much as like pushing uh, the gay marriage, and maybe it has something to do with trying to like reduce the population or something. Mm. But like, there, it, it almost was like <laughs> I I got <laughs> into it, and I was like, they're doing this on purpose. Yeah. Government's involved. The government. <laughs> what they're trying to do is they're trying Just, to whor- they make, round up all the gay guys that haven't come out yet. It's a symphony And they're of trying dicks. to pull them out. And they're being they're trying to be like, here, just come out. Look at this. Look at you could be one of these. Like you could be right in here. Resist that vagina. Get out. Riding horses, male groomed and yeah, out as fuck. Which I mean, like which I agree with. You mm. know, like I think it's hey, man, silly. If, if you're if no, don't that's you, a weird. It's yeah, it's a weird thing that people. 2014, especially like in the United States, think, feel weird about being gay. Yeah, that's really fucking well, that's, weird. Well, that's okay, because or sad, I should say, because of how little I think most people care. I just don't. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't. If any of my friends, like call, brothers, family, called me up at any moment, it was like, "Do you gotta tell you something? I'm gay." I'd be like, All "Why'd right. you waste a phone call?" Yeah, like, <laughs> what, <laughs> like, I don't care. That's not even that's tweet, awesome. That's not even tweet worthy. I like, mean, good for you, I guess. Yeah, but like, wh- I just don't care. Like, it, it would be like somebody calling up and being like, "Listen, I gotta talk to you. I like bondage porn." All right. And it's like, "All right, cool, okay, neat, I guess." That's great. Mm. Didn't even care. Well, I wasn't thinking that. about that. I wasn't even thinking about not, that. Not yeah, unaffected. At no point but, was it. But thinking- it just it just doesn't matter. You know what? Well, this is the thing. It's coming from me and you. One, I was raised in an urban environment, yeah. New York. You yeah. uh, moved from West Virginia to mm-hmm. New York after taking a very ego destroying psychedelic trip. We understand that. But most of the country, and by most of the country, I mean like, like down the middle. I think most of the country doesn't know any gay people. Hey, not, they don't. It's so uncomfortable. Like, uh, I was just visiting. I don't think they know them. But they don't know them. I'm not friends with them. I was just visiting f- uh, friends and family in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and people there, like, some people I know made comments about just gay people just, like, randomly, mm-hmm. like, without even, like, provoked. Just, like, thrown around. And they said something, like, I was just looking, I'm like, I, I can't be associated with you now. Yeah. And that's that's in Vegas, a city of two million. Like, that shit wow. still exists. 
Like yeah. as much as we don't see it in our bubble, because we, I mean, we in New York City. Like it's not even it's New York City is not even a part of the United States. It's like this conglomeration of nations and and sexuality. Like it's just its own thing. We don't see it. It's totally normal for people to be transgender, gay. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. You know, maybe Louisiana. Maybe it's not the case. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it, well, it's definitely true. Yeah. I mean, but uh, but I think it's that it's uh, still illegal. There's nobody. But I I think the problem is that there's there's nobody out. What do you mean? Like, I think in those places, there's there's still just as many gay people. For sure. But, like, oh, yeah. they're just not as, they don't feel comfortable about being open about it. I so mean, I, I don't know if I would either. I mean, so, like, here's the, the 300 movie as, you know, <laughs> a way of trying to so do you think open made it up the, the floodgates. You think gates. it was the Democrats trying to get yeah. more votes? Probably. <laughs> Probably something like that. God, kombucha's good. It's so good for you. Um, kombucha to you, everybody. But yeah, I look at I look at everything now, like with those eyes. Like, what's mm. what, what's that trying to do? What's the meaning behind like, what, it? What was it? Did you read? Did you get on Reddit today? Did you see any news headlines? Not or, like, Reddit, anything? no. You not today. You only use Reddit every day. Just oh, not today. Yeah. I slept at the gym last night, so I get... I'm trying to trying to remember what I read yesterday. I don't remember. We put it up right now. All right, two D's. R e d d e s. R e d d e s. Yeah. What are you, Angel? You don't on Reddit, man. What the Angelo. Fuck? I you gotta get your you've feeling, never huh? you've never heard of the greatest tool of me- all right I don't even I don't like the studio anymore. could you you want to sign into my account or yours um, does it matter you want to leave it yeah here this? I'm gonna go sign all right all right D'Angelo I'm really disappointed in you like you were really cool and then you started saying things like oh I don't know what Reddit is and now what what is it it's the greatest all right so for those who don't know Reddit it's a website. On the interwebs, where literally every single subgenre of anything that's ever existed ever, whether it be Brazilian jiu-jitsu, check playing chess, video games, has a, a division in that website called a subreddit and a community of people who post information about said topic every single day. And the best content gets voted up. It's called an upvote. And it's what people see every day. So it could be news, it could be books, it could be porn, it could be anything. Anything. Any, and they get really specific with their porn. But, like, it's it's... They do. It's it's fantastic though. It's it's a fantastical land of information. What does that mean, really specific with your porn? Whatever you want, Angelo. It's exactly what it sounds. It's like. It's exactly what it sounds like. Um. So so the the right here is the front page. This like, is these, these are the highest voted subreddits of the stuff I subscribe to. So go to our, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Like let's see. Ultra religious um, states that want gay marriage ban. Go to that. What we were just talking about. Uh, there we go. Perfect. All right, that worked well. Y'all. Southern so states. So let's let's see the states. Watch the most gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> so this. So all right. So this is fascinating. Okay, <laughs> folks. So what we're seeing right now is on Reddit. There, it's giving us a graph of information. The states that watch the most gay porn are states that want gay marriage the least. Where is it? Which it, is what are, fascinating. Where is uh. Yeah, so, can, can so you, the can yellow you, states are can, the ones. Yeah, can you enlarge that so we can see the the the, so, the tool, whatever it's called. There's a map. Look, according maybe, to Pornhub. Click it. Click it. Maybe according to Pornhub. Look, yeah, it's a it's a. That makes guess, sense. I guess they <laughs> maybe they went, click the Pornhub link. They teamed up with BuzzFeed to release. No, no, the it would it would take you to the statistic. I promise. I'm not trying to get you fired. The highest number of gay porn searches come out of Mississippi. Yeah, see, so Mississippi. One of the, okay. Let's see here. Percentage of gay what? users in this is insane. Illegalized gay marriage. Illegalized. Gay marriage. Percentage of gay users in legalized gay, gay marriage. marriage. I'm not sure if that makes sense. I don't know what that. The quick answer is yes. At 4.14 cent status, uh, states. states that legalize gay marriage watch 7 percent more gay porn than states without. But just barely. Just barely. Well, the, I mean, it's, I, I mean, I don't know what the okay the rates are. So in the but, pink states, it's legal, and the states where it's orange is not right and so cor- <laughs> they there's them. much higher so cl- i mean clear this is this has been talked about a lot very clearly the people that are really pissed off about gay marriage mm. there's a higher likelihood that they're gay themselves and they're struggling with it and, and they're, you can't they're, even get mad at that person they're really defensive what no the, because they're they're, they're right. going through pain what man. did he like or she grow up with what did he, like that's yeah, just they're, they're another victims of their just, culture that's just another version of you right another person in a kind of a weird way. So what did they grow up with? Like an asshole father or maybe a, 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 a pre- pastor every day. It was like, you, no faggots up in here. They go to hell and burn because they're whatever. Like that's that's yeah. real for some people. No, it's it's a real, it's, it's, I see it all the time. 
It's next to Louisiana. Uh, it's that's that's Mississippi. Is it? Yep. That's the highest. Mississippi yep. has the highest. Mississippi is the watch, highest. Watch the most gay porn. Georgia and Alabama not far behind. Where's uh, Florida? Where's New York compared to everybody else? It's very liberal. Five point four. Okay, that's, that's pretty, pretty high. It's pretty high. We're up there. All right, right on New York. <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> yep. Um, this is the pocket though, right here. Yeah, man. That's that's the highest. That's the hub. Man, that's Shit. southeast corridor. There's a right lot there. in in Florida. Wow. There's a lot of old people there. Well, it's. I mean, this is the, it, this is the same thing as anything else. Like I, I see it in training a lot. Some people get really mad at themselves, like on purpose. Like they're really hard on tant themselves up or just. It's just in, how, in a it's how they way. manage. It's how they manage it. Like uh, the perfect example is the the guy from Dodgeball, Ben Stiller's character, yeah. that would like put pizza in front of him, be like, "Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you want that pizza, don't you, fat boy?" Be like, fat no, no. Yeah, he, he like, slaps slap himself. He was and, jerking off with it at one right, point. Right, 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 right. It's the same thing. You're right. It, it's it's a method to. Yeah. They're trying to control it because they it. see it as like um, being bad for their career or them as a person or for whatever reason they they're brought up with asshole parents. Yeah. But they see it as like a bad thing, and that they have to, uh, they have to like suppress it, and they have to get angry, you know, about suppressing it. Like I, I had this one client for a while. I don't have him anymore, but like he, he would always, he'd talk to himself and be like, "You're such a pussy." Jesus <laughs> like, Christ. He'd be like working out. He used to be like such a weak, weak bitch, such a baby. Like, like just mashing Whoa. on himself, and I could just see him like walking down the street, like seeing like cakes and stuff, and being like. You probably want that, you fat piece of shit, don't you? Holy like just fuck. being like really wow. ang- like that was uh, his attitude. Well, I mean, you know, he's extreme. I don't know. Well, that's, I mean, clearly that's yeah. the way that people cope, the way they deal uh, with it. Safety mechanism. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, and and they don't have to do that. That's no, it's totally it's, know, it's that's, unhealthy, if anything. I mean, that's why we need to get people on mushrooms. That's exactly why people need to do mushrooms. Yeah, man. I've, I, here's the thing, too. I did that LSD about five years ago. Yeah. I feel like. I'm low on the juice. Yeah. Like it's, Your ego's it's coming back like a little bit. When I first did it, um, it was real clear, real po- strong, real powerful. Mm. And then it just like, it slowly starts like deteriorating. You lose your battery. The battery dies. Not to interrupt you, but we're definitely on an NSA list now. Oh, We've yeah. looked up gay porn, how to order marijuana, <laughs> and now we're talking about <laughs> this. All right, but get to, I'm sorry. So you so you feel like you need a recharge? I feel like I need a recharge. A reboot yeah. of the ego destroying. Are you are you interested in ayahuasca at all? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah I have, I have a friend of mine. Oh, I keep saying uh, I have a friend of mine. Uh, him and his uh, partner are uh, going down to Peru. They already have planned in a couple weeks, and they're both going. They're gonna go. They're, they're doing gonna a do journey. They're doing a, do and it's a five thing. day, uh, spiritual guide journey. Five days. Yeah. Do you do it every day when you go down there? I don't know. I don't know the specifics, but I know they're gonna do it more than once. So they're gonna be there for like three weeks, and yeah, like and if anything, like it's I can't wait. Like I asked them, I I begged them both, like please make a journal before mm-hmm. and after, and make note of these changes, like because it's gonna happen. Like their ego is gonna be destroyed. They probably end up changing professions, yeah, moving to like fucking Denmark and opening up a shoe store or something weird. Like I I just I can't wait for them to come back because I want to do. I mean I'm probably gonna do it in Brazil, not Peru, but all right, I have to go pee. Yeah, you do that. Talk about some. All right. Look up Reddit headlines. Angelo, join me, sir. Tell tell our vis- our one listener like what's on Reddit today. Okay. What's on Reddit today? Um, you know, I'm gonna branch off of my old gay thing again. Uh, yeah, folks. So you know, if you're gay, be uh, be gay, be happy about it. Don't um, <laughs> right, Angelo? Don't don't let people suppress you. It's really it's really unfortunate that people live in a situation where their own government doesn't recognize or refuses to recognize their own love. Where it's it's you know it's frowned upon and blah 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 blah. I'm so angry. Let's see. Google is encrypting search globally. The uh, let's see. That's bad for NSA and China's censors. Oh, that's it's good and bad. All right. Excellent. D'Angelo, what are your what are your thoughts on this whole uh, this whole gay porn slash rights thing? Like the right to watch gay porn? No. Well, uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> Angela, you silly goose. No, just like, uh, what's your perception of like the whole thing in general? Like, why why do you think people hate it so much? Uh, because they're scared of it, and like what you guys were saying before, mm. culture. Uh, that's where most people get their views. Yeah, it really comes from religion, stigmas. I'd say. Right. Yeah, yeah. Which 
which will stem from religion. Which is, it's unfortunate that something that started out with a basis of pure love, like, that's the intention. Like, it's love each other. It's sad that a book had to be written saying not to kill each other, but it was. And the whole point was for love, right? It's the whole premise. And it's not, it's about, it's not even about oneself. It's like, you're all, you are all love. God is love. Let's spread it out. I'm not saying I believe in that all necessary, but like, that's the whole point. You can if you believe. Right. And that's, that's what you believe. and it's amazing that the most religious people are generally the ones to prosecute love. It's right. so odd. Right. It's so weird. Like, uh, what's, I think Hebrews 11 is, is the section of the Bible where it's like, it goes deep. You're pretty well versed. I went to church for a really long time. Yeah. yeah, it's Hebrews 11. It's 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 like the whole core of love is written pretty much there for like the next couple uh, chapters, and it goes in deep in like what love is and how God is through all of us, and that's love. Like, and even um, in the Hebrew language, it's it's based off numbers and uh, and sounds. So God or G O D and L O V E have the same numerical value, so they're just as important. So God basically is love, hmm. with and that's where it all stems from. It's, in it's, Hebrew, in Hebrew, where it was originally written and in Greek like and all that. Religion. Which one? Hebrew. The, the Jewish? Yeah. Well, Hebrews 11, obviously, is not, it's it's weird. It's not even in uh, the Old Testament or the Torah, what the Jews yeah. worship. It's actually in the New Testament, where the Christians are supposed to observe. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hebrews 11 is a whole passage on love, and it's in the New Testament. It's actually near the end. It's probably like Philippians. So what's lot. what's your background again? Religiously? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Uh, religiously? Yeah. <sighs> All right. This is, we're don't, I don't, we don't need... No, no, no. Stuff. I mean, like... Just give me the basic. Fair enough. Like, what are you? <laughs> what are you? What were you? I was what are you? I was raised Jehovah's Witness, and then I... Uh, really? You were raised, Je- raised Jehovah's Witness? I was, and then I went from Jehovah's Witness oh, to a... fuck. A Je- who's, Je- who's... Which parent? My mother and my grandmother on my father's wow. side. Yeah. My grandmother's... Uh, I probably shouldn't talk about that. Whatever. Uh, raised Jehovah's Witness, and, um, and then I started observing a Judeo-Christian... When Faith. did when did uh, you stop Jehovah's Witness? How old were you? And what made you look in toward? Uh, wait, where where what did you switch into? A Judeo Christian. Judeo. What made you kind of? Switch There's not even into a name Judeo-Christian? for it. Uh, all right. So right around when I was twelve, my dad had died. Right. Mm-hmm. So I was pretty upset with like God and religion and stuff. I think all the best steps in in well, not not a blanket term, but like I think that as much as psychedelics yeah. can be. A powerful enough event to break up your paradigm and the way you're looking yeah, at the it did. world. Oh, it and, did. And you can get some really good work done on yourself like, during those periods. Yeah. So between like 12 and like 14, I was super like, wasn't sure of things. Like I knew it was super yeah. rage religious and my dad had died. So I wasn't sure how all that meant. And I wasn't sure, quite sure what death meant. But, uh, and then I started observing, uh, cause I did believe in God, uh, full heartedly, not full heart. I started, I did believe. And then I started... You bought into it. Yeah, I bought into it. And then I started doing this Judeo-Christian thing, which is like... Basically, what that means is they observe the Old Testament and the New. Mm-hmm. So, it's not, a, there isn't a separation. Not Christian? Yeah. Well, Christians... Uh, no. Christians don't observe the Old Testament. Yeah. They don't. So, the Old, the Old Testament is, is the portion of the Bible where it says, don't eat pork. Don't uh, be gay. Don't do this, that, and the other. So, they basically... they it's in the Bible. I mean, right, exactly. For, what for whatever, basically what happened a long time ago is uh, when Catholicism was founded by a bunch of other pagan religions joining a conglomeration, mm-hmm. they wanted to separate themselves as much as possible from uh, Jews. So they basically much like they respect the laws of the Old Testament, but they don't observe them. Otherwise, they oh, wouldn't okay. eat pork and they things like that. They don't observe them. And, like, right, they, they, don't, they pick but, and choose. But they do, they cherry they, pick. Yeah, they cherry pick like, ah, oh, we don't like gays, but right. we'll have hot dogs and we'll we'll not cover our heads yeah we'll and not cover we'll, our heads uh, and we'll wear two different types of garb two different types of cloth cloth right. yeah like, they'll just pick the it's ones weird. they want and some people oh well that was cultural for the time well then <laughs> then you can't just okay so you, you went know. judeo-christian I went hardcore to hardcore yeah. <laughs> then Judeo- that's where you are to now no I don't uh, I don't go anymore no you just don't go yeah like two years ago or a year ago I stopped yeah yeah now I'm my own spiritual journey. No, I don't. Uh, I don't necessarily. I don't want to say I believe in God fullheartedly, but I do believe in uh, being as nice as possible in love, and I believe that is what really helps things out. Like, yeah, uh, that's a that's the weird thing. I think people that have religion are really scared of people that don't have religion because they're afraid they're going to be bad people. Well, for a long time, I felt I felt this way where I didn't want to go to church all much since I was like maybe eighteen, but mm-hmm. I kept going for like three more years. Because, like, it was fear. Total fear. Like, I had no idea. I was scared of the unknown, of death, and, like, yeah. oh, what if this is true and I oh, don't observe fuck. it? Yeah. And so I got to a point where I was like, if I'm ob- only observing this because it's out of fear, like, it's not out of certainty and love, and, like, it's it's only because just in case I don't want God to be mad at me, that's totally the wrong reasons to be going. 
Well, and if it is the case, yeah. if you're doing it out of fear and like because this person, this entity is going to hurt you or strike yeah. you down or throw you in hell, a fire. that's not a good God to worship anyway. Right. Like, if why? That, would... Like, I don't even <clears throat> want to worship a God that's like going to going right. to fuck with my life and yes. throw me into the depths of eternal hell if yeah. I make a mistake. I mean, like, that's not a good dude. That's yeah. not somebody you'd want to like be your friend. No, or be your I friend. mean, like, hell, I, hell I is invented, worship that, but I get what you're saying. That thing. If that's, if that yeah. is the thing. Like that's an asshole, man. You know, and I, and like, th- yeah, that's not the man-made God is a piece of shit. Like yeah, the man-made he's not creation even very of God, nice. not at all. <laughs> like when people, like the man-made version of he, what he, people believe to be God is, it's so aggressive. He causes plagues. He he's, hates. He's games. bipolar. Like what people feel to be the man, he's like once oh, I love me and I love you, and then if you go a few. Books back. I flooded the earth. Yeah. I flooded it. Why? Because y'all made me mad. Because I was having a bad day. Yeah, it's like, what? Why did you do that? Mm. One guy lives. Why? Just why? He built a boat. Out of what trees? How old is he? 300. Uh, really? <laughs> did he have any help? Two family members and a goat. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's not a nice guy at all. No, he seemed aggressive. No. <laughs> He's... Nobody looks at it like that. Well, it's the man-made God. That's what people want to believe in because they're scared. I, I refuse. I refuse to believe in something. Yeah. And I'm not saying there isn't a God, nor is there. Like, it, almost any possibility is, is open. But what it is for sure is, like, you could be a really good person. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. The, That's attainable. Dude, let, me, let me tell you this awesome story. Um, story on time. Sunday, okay. I, I well, slept in. I went to Starbucks. I was walking out. There was a woman asking for money. Mm-hmm. Um, and I looked at my wallet, and I had, like, a 20. I don't usually give people 20, 20 bucks. It's a lot of money. But it was all I had, yeah. and uh, it was Sunday, and I was just kind of like, oh, okay. I don't tithe. You know, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? I don't go to church. It's the Lord's Day. Yeah, I was like, why not? I was like, no big deal. 20 yeah. bucks. So I give her 20 bucks, and this uh, this dude sees me give her 20 bucks, and he goes, how much money did you just give her? And I was like, $20. And he goes, do you do that normally or usually? And I was like, well, not usually, but sometimes, I guess. Um and he said, do you, do you mind if I ask you, are you religious? And then and at that point, I looked and I saw, like, under his jacket, he had the, the priest. priest thing. The yeah, collar. he had the priest collar. So I was like, oh, he's a priest. Mm. And uh, and I was like, no, not at all. I was like, I nice. just kind of I, I just kind of think, you know, she might, she's me living another life. Yeah. Why wouldn't I help out? I'm not going to miss that 20 bucks. It might be a big deal to her. And he, we had this moment where he was like... Yeah, he it's was scary like, as fuck. No, yeah, like, well, no, it wasn't scary. It was a moment of like, uh, he looked at me. He's like, keep up the good work, and it was like, it was kind of like, oh, you you don't need religion. Yeah. It was like, oh, you get it. Yeah. You know, it was kind of like you're doing it. You're doing what you're what yeah. you're supposed to you do. Your good nature was inherent, or you taught it yourself to yourself. What's that? So your your good nature, like you saw that your your good nature, and you didn't need a book to tell you. Well, to if he, I, it 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 stemmed from, you know using psychedelics breaking right. the world down and and deciding that me isn't me like it, it all it all went to this idea my my main uh philosophy mm. stems from this idea that if you took me my whole body everything every thought every neuron every cell and you split it up like just pulled it apart like matrix style i wouldn't exist it's a collection of ones and zeros but i do exist with all of these things working together so like what it is that's me is just this combination of things working Uh together as one unit if i lose a skin cell i don't die if i lose one of these cells like i don't die so if you if i lose all the cells do I die? Like, not really, because I'm not there in the first place. Yeah, there, like, really, the, the, there is no... the idea of me isn't me. Like, I, what I am is just an extension of everything else right. around me. And I'm just looking at that. Bits and pieces of everything. Yeah, I'm just looking at it from a different set of eyes. You, you, basically, so, you basically said it before. When you were on that porch, high on acid, yeah. looking at the leaves change, it's the same thing. Those leaves aren't dying. No, they're just changing they're composition. Changing. They're turning into energy for that tree to regrow. Like, that's exactly the same thing. Nothing ever really dies. We're the idea just cha- of death. We just change form. The idea of death. I mean, now, here's the thing. This is what I think people are scared of. The only thing we know mm. in our memory is this. Yeah. We don't have a memory of anything else. No, I don't remember sleeping. We don't have, yeah, we don't have that reference point. No. So, so we associate everything we are with what we remember. Mm. And if instantly someone's going to say, 
your memory is going to be gone. Like that memory mm. of your whole life, gone. Yeah. Gone forever. Like you're not taking it with you. That body you're used to, gone. Yeah. Not taking that with you. And that's a fucking scary thought, yeah. man. I It could I, be. Yeah. It could also be freeing. It's well, well, and what's helped me develop that is the tank. And I, See, I, dude, uh, I haven't been in a month and like, I feel like shit. So, so for people who don't know what that is, a sensory deprivation tank is exactly what it sounds like. It is a tank uh, filled with water at your body temperature uh, with salt water. So you float uh, enclosed, very darkness and plenty of room to just basically you lie there. It, you, you unplug every input. Right. You, it's, if, the, if there's, sorry, if there's sensory every deprivation, right? sense that makes you, you, yeah. you unplug it. And you reboot your body. Yeah. You the, turn your body huh. off. And I, like, I, not every time, mm -hmm. but there have been times for sure when I died in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not, maybe not, not really. Like my body didn't, my heart kept beating, of yeah. course. But I unplugged from my body. Yeah. And I You literally I just became that. a thought. I wasn't even that. Yeah. You let go of it all. Everything yeah. that you would let go of when you die, you let go of all of it and and you realize that that you don't you're still there yeah. you still exist you know what i mean you you don't, your mind isn't even working your body isn't thinking nothing is thinking but the one thing you're sure of is that you still exist mm -hmm. and you it felt great like when you get there it's bliss it's yeah. pure great do you go in on an edible or i i haven't yet Take it to the next level soon. I, nice. I've been able to like get pretty deep without it. Yeah. So like I haven't really needed to. Um, Should be the next route. But like when you once you see that once you like you let go you melt into the world and you just let go of everything that you are and you throw it away for a second mm -hmm. and you realize that you're still there. You get cool yeah. with the idea it's, of dying. Like you're like yeah. It's perfect time for sale. Uh, I've been there. That, I went. I checked it out. Yeah. It's not that bad. Not only that. <laughs> yeah. Right. Not only that, but you get the the perfect opportunity for self examination. Like it's now time for you to check up on the things that you do. Is are you hiding something from yourself? Are you like like for you like <clears throat> a it's person? A person could probably get to the point where you realize you don't want to be a lawyer in the tank without necessarily taking a, a, a psychedelic. I mean, I would still recommend people if they really want to try it, but like... Dude, don't do recommend it. people do if anything. If they want to try it. If they want to find... Listen, everyone out there, <laughs> don't do anything that Alec tells you to do. Fair enough. Stop right now. All right. Don't put down the, the brownie. Don't. Don't get near the tank. Don't do do not do psychedelics. If you're going to do it, do it because it's up to you, but right. not because we told you to do it. All right. Don't sue us. F yeah, please. please don't. Uh, NSA. But no, you could you could basically get to the point at self-realization in the tank, which is why it's an amazing tool. Fuck yeah. People need to use the tank. That's, That's something awesome. people need to do. Oh, I'm, I'm getting one at one point. You're I mean, gonna, I'm definitely... That's a commitment. That's like 50 grand. Well, there's some that are 50. There's not. They're not all that expensive. You can get one for like for like five grand, like a used one. Where you can get it? Where you, you can put you'd it? You'd have to go pick it up. You put it in your apartment now? No, I've got a, I've got a plan. Okay, talk about it. Later. I've got an idea. Um, yeah, stuff to come. So back to the religion. You don't have a religion now. No, I don't have a religion either. I don't. I would don't. And I, I'm not. You. I'm well, not, what is a religion? Then? Right. I'm not. That's a question. Do you have an ideology? Yes. Okay. What's your ideology? Let's hear it. Love. The church. The Church of Alec. Church of Alec. All right. Love. Smoke weed every. No, that's silly. Uh, no, I just man, be really, really nice. Like, that's it. Just be su There's no reason. Like, view other people as just another form of yourself who had to go through a different life. So you can't necessarily blame them for almost any actions that they have. You can to a degree. But they're they're just an example or... A I don't think you can. They're just I don't a, think you can to any degree. They're I just think... a representation of things that happened to them mm -hmm. and circumstances around them. That's it. You know well, they're, I mean? they're you. They're you, yeah. You know, so they like you're all I, made of the I same material. It, I look at it like this: like Trick there's balance, a yeah. there's a Hitler, yeah. you know, terrible human being, the worst of the human beings. That's still you. Yeah. You know, you have to be okay. That was like, an option. That's still you. That could have been but, you. But here's the thing: like, that's a broken person in this whole system. It's Due a broken to his circumstances, person. he but became if you, broken. If you have a a broken chromosome, 
Mm-hmm. You don't get mad at the chromosome. You don't judge no. the chromosome. You're like, damn you, chromosome. You piece why of didn't shit you, DNA. Yeah, what's your problem? What the fuck, why are you, man? Why are you fucking everything up? God like, why are you being it. such an asshole to this whole body? You don't do no, that. I can't You're read. like, what? What you just are like is, well, that happened. That yeah. they that just is. You know what I mean? You're not mad at it. You're just you just have to accept like that's what you are yeah. <laughs> you know you can help you can try to fix it you can yeah. try to like educate it to each sure but like get it mad and judge it doesn't help i've, I've heard somebody said this quote obviously it's <laughs> nice it's a quote. nice kyle nah. somebody said this quote someone said this once um now i forgot what it was. <laughs> you, fucking, <laughs> you fucking dick <laughs> I was on such a good. Such oh, a good you were on a good tangent. All right. Oh well, no, no. Uh, oh, okay. Every negative, every everything negative in this world comes from judgment. It starts at judgment. Okay. Think about it. If there's yeah. no judgment, take take judgment out of the picture. How could anything be bad? Anything that bad has to start there. It has to start with one person yeah. cutting themselves off from another person yeah. and saying you're separate from me. I wouldn't have done it that way. Yeah. You're bad. I'm almost You're better. not related to me in any sense. And uh, you're you're fucked up, and I'm good. And and in most times, most all most judgments are, is a projection of your insecurities on another. That's what most judgments like. You're scared of what that person is because you see it in yourself. You think so? You're yeah. Well, look at like the same thing with people hating on gays and they're gay. I they maybe they see it in themselves. And they're just, oh, that's so they, they. I think that's the most likely. Yeah, right. Or, it's yeah. just a projection of their own insecurities on another human being, and they're scared of what they're doing because they could see themselves doing it, so they hate it. They well, and then they and it. they see other people being really mad at. It. They see right. They see bad things happening to people that are gay, and right. then they're afraid of that happening to them, so they yeah. get very combative and very defensive. Yeah. Yeah, and that's just so their weird. perception. Yeah. You know, it's a weird thing. But if you if you think about it, I mean, if there's no judgment, you would just help. You would instead of judging That's, somebody, you would just help them because you why would wouldn't purely, you, man? Like, cause yeah, why, cause would, why wouldn't you? Like, why would if you can make that person better? That means you. you're better. Everyone's better. Let's assume that, like, let's assume and just go into the big what ifs that mm-hmm. that what we do throughout eternity is just live different lives. Say we just re- we recycle we okay. infinitely cycle through different experiences, right? In order to fulfill every experience, fulfill everything. Uh, every feeling that could be felt, mm-hmm. right? Good and bad. Then if that's the case and everyone else is you and they're actually you just it, doing it in another place in time, you know, wouldn't you want to help yourself? <laughs> like, right. <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah, why are you being a if, dick if to you, that homeless guy? You, yeah, if you had a bad <laughs> life. <laughs> you like got a bad you, roll you of got, the dice. Yeah, you got, you get. Um, I got an amputee. Fuck. Yeah, you, you're. Yeah, you're. I this, got PTSD like, and people hate me because I killed a kid in Iraq. Yeah, you're this hunchback, legless, Ugh. like poor, HIV-ridden, the worst homeless guy. You have one eye. Yeah, like wouldn't if you're in that in that situation, regardless of what got you there, no. and everyone else was you, wouldn't you hope that you would help yourself? Wouldn't you hope that yeah. you would do that? I would think so, and I think the more that that happens. The better the organism would run, the better we'd all be. Well, then we wouldn't be self-defeating. Right. I mean, I've, the biggest example I, th- I can think of right now of, of self-defeating behavior is war. Yeah. At, at, at what point, and I don't I don't subscribe to the, oh, I was following orders type thing. At what point is it appropriate or necessary to take these giant transformer-like machines made of thousands of tons of st- steel Crazy. and anger over an ocean... Go onto a beach and fire balls of liquid magma at mm-hmm. other human beings who are just maybe farming. Like, why is that a thing? Yeah. At no point, like, you like, I don't know, like, what what's the thought process? Like, I, well, I was told to do, and I get my paycheck. Like, no, dude, that's you over there that you just fucking blew up. Like, at what? Like, see, like, but here's the thing. Most here's self-defeating the hardest, Here's the hardest thing. You're already going to the judgment because that's what caused the war in the first place. Right. <laughs> you being right. mad at the people doing it. I'm mad at, I'm mad at the, the action. I'm not thing. mad at that person. It's the action. But it's the same thing. They mm-hmm. cut themselves off so and them. said, you're doing something wrong and we need to fix it. Mm-hmm. Now you're cutting yourself off. And saying you're doing something. So wrong. how do we be nice? How do we be nice? How do we fix that? I think you just you have to just stop judging. Okay. You know you like that in general. 
Like if you can if you can figure out a way to like stop judging. Like that was Alan Watts's big thing. Yeah. Stop trying to change the world. Stop trying to change it. Accept it for what it is. Help as much as you can. Mm-hmm. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the the ride because it's fun. Be reckless. And be nice. you need these extremes, dude. Do you really want to live in a world where there's nothing bad? Mm-hmm. You know? Do you? Probably not, it's man. Probably death. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty boring. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, we kind of got to mix shit up. You know, it's yeah. There's a reason that we're doing this, and we you know, and we we do love as human. We love hard times. Like we love to struggle, dude. That, I mean, that's you know I mean? that that's the the training philosophy like, that I embrace. Now, what sport the, do we take partake in the most? Olympic lifting. Yeah, arguably one of the hardest things you could fucking get good at. Yeah, it's awful. And it's you, you want to cry, hurts. you want to fucking hurt people every day, it hurts, every goddamn hurts. day. Your legs are on time. fire. Like, it's impossibly difficult. It's 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 ballet with a goddamn bar. It's, it's really to quote John North. Like it's it's bar. it's it's unfair is what it is. But we love it. We we'll come back to it because it's every, hard. Because we yeah we love struggle. Yeah no th- I mean as a as a trainer that's that's the the that's my philosophy is it, it what we're really doing here embrace the suck is we we're doing something that's really fucking hard yeah. that, and we're gonna figure out what it is that you can do that's really hard and you'll keep coming back and doing it and get because if you don't you're gonna find some bullshit in life that's gonna be really hard and it's not gonna be worth it yeah. you're gonna get mad at traffic you're gonna get mad at your boss you're gonna get mad at like any your spouse your kids you're gonna let the the bullshit in life come up and you're that's gonna be hard because you need something hard you uh, need you we need a a, a to the end like what after a lifting session right there's no, there's no better clarity or feeling ever than after it's like a lifting. Like you just sit there, nothing bothers you. Like someone could like spill, your, like just drop your food or something. Like, ah, right. All right. You give well, a shit. Cool. You don't care, right? You don't, cause you're at peace. Yeah. We, it, it's it's like the syndrome of our time that we've made life too easy. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Like Especially we're in the we're Western all, world. We're all suffering from this problem yeah. where we we thought what we were supposed to do was make. Life as easy as possible, oh, and we're kind of done. doing that. But look what it's done. And then we realize, oh yeah. fuck! Like you need the other side. You need huh. the hard, which is cool. Like, and it, it once you realize that you need the hard, yeah. you can pick that. You know what I mean? You can. We pick can. What, we have the option. But once you're aware of it, yeah. Once you're aware of it, you can choose what you want to do. That's hard. Yeah. That's. I mean, whether it be like jujitsu or I math. hate these trainers that think that there's only one way to do it. Uh. I hate that. It's my biggest pet peeve in the industry. Low bar back it's, squats and dude, nothing else. This is the this is blah, blah, blah. whatever. I don't wrong care. It's all great. Yeah. It's all great. Everything's good um, at the right time. It's all great. Um, the, it, and that comes out of fear. The trainers, That's another ideology. The trainers that hate on anything, yeah. they're scared. They're scared that this might steal clients from they them. They gotta learn something they're new. They're scared and... that they won't be the expert anymore. They're yeah. scared that like uh, something's gonna be taken from them. If P90X does well, then nobody's gonna need me. That's oh, what they're afraid of. Right. And it's like, dude, it doesn't work like that. It helps the system. It Everything all... helps. If it works, yoga, it helps. Fucking acro, whatever the fuck you're doing, yeah. it helps your field, no matter what's yeah. going on. And I mean, th- that's one of the biggest reasons I wanted to to start podcasting is yeah. nobody is like, nobody's preaching that message that just because something works that's mm. not what you do doesn't mean that takes away from what you do. Yeah, not at all. We don't have to be scared of that. What we are is like, it, what we are is artists. You know, we, we don't. It, I, everyone uses that Very term, um, that term, exercise science, and there are scientific principles in there that are relevant and yeah. seem to hold up over time, for sure. But that doesn't mean that what we do is science work. Like uh, the different Neil deGrasse Tyson said this: the difference between art and science is that someone else can do science. They can do your science. Like, if you don't figure the, out this equation, someone else will figure out this equation. No. Art is something no one can do but you. There's not going to no be another Van Gogh. No one can do that but you in this moment. There's no Van Gogh. There's right. no other Picassos. No one can paint Picasso's painting at that moment the way he did it with those brush strokes. That expression of himself. No one can, and, and this is this sounds super arrogant, but it's just the truth. Um, no one can train someone like I do. 
you know, good or bad. I I mean, and that's like, you yeah. know, there's plenty of, I'm not this perfect a, or anything. No, this isn't a pompous pro- no, proclamation. But it's just, the no, but no like the way that I train someone, no one else will be able to completely, perfectly replicate the way that I do it. That's yeah. going to bring my life experiences yeah, no. and my perspective and the way that I've hashed through it. Nobody's going to be able to do that, which means that I have a monopoly on me. You know, which okay. also means I don't have to be scared of someone taking away from me. Because they don't, because they can't, because they're not me. It's so, it, yeah. Right. So, like, there's no need to hate on all these other, because they're, these ju- other, it goes back to judgment. It goes back yeah, to you know, the whole fear thing. Yeah, dude. Like, just stop. We can Who all, like, we can all yeah. stop being so okay. damn scared of everything and so hateful and so mad. It's and we can just, tribal mentality. We can all start talking about it without judging each other. And, no. like, hopefully we'll figure some shit out. And nobody's telling you this. Nobody's on, nobody, there are no media outlets that are saying, no. hey, um, we don't fully have it figured out. Anybody? No, especially uh, exercise science. Nobody does. No, uh, nothing. So 100%. some people have different methods that seem to work for yeah. them, and um, you, kind of the best thing you can do is try a bunch yeah. out and Bye. see what works. See what see sticks. what you like. See what sticks, man. And that like that's what I want to do. I want to have a bunch of trainers because well, one because I know a bunch of trainers. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to talk to a bunch of trainers, man, and I want to like get out a whole bunch of different viewpoints. Yeah, we we'll, like a kettlebell whole... guy and barbell guy and. Anything, well, anybody, and anybody, and everything. A, any combination of all of all oh. the above, because everybody's going to bring a different piece of art. Yeah, and that's what people need. They need to hear that. Uh, uh, okay, one, you don't have to, men's health is going to tell you this is the way to do it. Yeah, you need to do it's it. The this only way. way to get biceps. If you don't do it this way, you're wrong. If you don't do it this way, you, you're you fucked up. You're not part of the group, and and that's such bullshit. It's such bullshit. Everybody yeah. out there, stop reading Men's Health. Please, for the love of God. Do what you I'm, like. <laughs> and I'm in Men's Health? Yeah, he's literally in the I'm magazine. literally in the he's magazine not exaggerating. At, least, at least three or four times of a year. Don't so, read that shit. Don't read it. It's bullshit. I've been, I've been on the shoot. Uh, unless you... I've, been, I've talked to the people writing these articles. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <sighs> what they're doing is they're figuring out what it is that people will respond what's to. What's popular And what's time. popular and what, what, they, what people haven't heard of. And they're selling magazines. They're just selling you magazines. Yeah. They don't know what they're talking this about. This isn't about they're not health. Even in a, they're not even in shape. Do they have a gym? Not even. No. Like... They, they have a set. They have a set <laughs> with cameras and fake weights. Why like would you they trust an organization fake... that doesn't even have they like 45 trainers. pound plates that uh, weigh five pounds geez. they're fake it's all fake it's all a big setup to fuck with you and uh, just like keep you on the teat because if if you subscribe to what they're doing yeah. you can't do shit without them nope. then you need them forever it's and another you ideology keep buying to their their subscriptions stop it listen don't even nobody listen knows us. what the fuck they're talking don't about some people know more than other people yeah. some people know more things they have more facts some people have yeah. more experience they've been doing it longer but nobody knows the exact the, the answer because there isn't an you. exact way because there isn't a right answer right. for you there there's just the the one that works the best of the stuff that you figured out so your job is go out and try try weird shit weird shit try and it out. see what you like because the thing that's going to work is right. the thing that makes you really get into it the yeah. thing that, like, that makes you very passionate about what you're doing so that you're thinking about it when you're not doing it so you're yeah. going to go back in the next day so you actually enjoy it yeah. and if that's spin classes if that's like uh crossfit slack lining if that's weightlifting whatever the fuck you're doing slack line i don't even know what that is i started doing it recently you know yoga, what that is? no i'm sorry we'll get to that in a second whatever it is that you like and it, it, it do that. If you don't like it, stop doing it and try something don't else. Waste your time yeah, just because stop, you, because stop, of a peer pressure. Stop like, yeah. hurting yourself. Stop yeah, punishing yourself. If you go in into the like gym, a CrossFit class only because you like two, just because like two of your coworkers go and like oh come on we'll get buff, dude. If you like yoga, go fucking do yoga. Go do yoga. Go and do be that a shit. Badass at yoga yeah, because be a, a really good yoga guys, practitioner. Like, yeah, get awesome at that. And and hopefully, like through the course of this podcast, we can have a whole shit ton of, of different perspectives oh, we will. and get some open-minded people yeah. here even to... if they're not it's still good to examine these people oh yeah even if they're like belligerent it's like all right well let's see why you think this yeah let's, for whatever let's, reason because well, you're, you're gonna run into those people in life too yeah absolutely so um so that's i mean that's what i wanted to do yeah. and and the meathead on mushrooms thing really just meant more like that i'm i'm gonna try to 
not be traditional in the way that I'm breaking stuff down. Open-minded I'm going to look at it through the mushroom perspective. I'm going to look at it through... We just happen to be meatheads. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know. This is crazy. This is crazy that we're doing this right now. It's pretty fantastic. I really like it. Yeah. This is a fun thing. Vibing. Yeah. Angelo, you're awesome. Uh, So what is... Yeah, Angelo. Angelo's the hero behind this. He's a producer. Yeah. Produce. Um, In the lab. What what were you saying? Slacklining? It's fantastic. What is it? Not the two mile horn, but I'm getting pretty good at it. It's basically it's tightrope walking, basically. So you get this rope. Mm-hmm. There's two type of lines. There's yoga lines, and then there's um, what they call uh, Gibson lines, which are like uh, maybe like four inches wide, right? Just Deep. rope, like really thick. Not rope. rope at all. It's like a flat. The Gibson is flat. So oh, like a, it's like, like a belt. Yeah, almost like a belt, like a really long belt. And the yoga line is like a very, it's like you know, it's very small in circumference, uh-huh. and it's. Uh, a rope. That's basically more of like a rope. Okay. So what you do is you tie these to trees or poles of sort, get it real tight, using certain ni- knots and like uh, carabiners like this one, and uh, you then walk on this line. And it has a sway to it, so almost like you're surfing kind of, but you get really good on walking on fucking rope, like 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 tightrope walking. It's exactly what that is. It's the most, f- and you could do jumps and tricks and backflips, walk back. It's super fun, and I've been doing it a lot lately. And my stability has gone off the chain. Yeah. Just like, yeah, like I could just stand on one leg and like I'm a skateboard now and just like get really? all weird. It's awesome. Where did, this is why I like you. See? You hear the weirdest shit. <laughs> you always, I mean, uh, always. I've gotten, I can walk backwards now and shit couple, and do couple, yoga on it. A couple weeks ago, um, I, I, when my brother was in town. I called up Alex, Alex to see what he was doing. And he's like, dude, we're, we're going to this bingo party. <laughs> the bingo, rebel bingo. <laughs> You know, you know, what Rebel Dude, Angela, is Angela, look this up on YouTube. Look at type a right in, meow. Type in Rebel, Rebel Bingo. Bingo, and he took me to this this bingo party. Tell the folks at home at uh, Gramercy this, Theater. Yeah, the Gramercy Theater. It was fucking wild. How absurd! One, it was actually bingo. Like yeah. you, you walk in, they give you uh, a bingo card and mm-hmm. a marker, and um, packed. Yeah, and it, it the lights get dark. And it basically turns into this crazy no, no. circus rave. Go back, D'Angelo. Go back. Go, go back yeah, one. Yeah, go, go back one. And get rid of the NYC. One second, folks. I'm telling which video to pull. Yeah. Up here. Just hit well, enter. That, that worked when you played it. It was. Uh, they have a, like an official promotion. I wasn't sure if you wanted that one or not. You want to go back to that one? Rebel. Yeah. Go to the promotional one. All right. Go which down. One is it? Go down. It's black and white. Yeah. It's black and white. Go down. See a black and white image. There that it is. One. This is off their website here. So go ahead, Kyle. So they, nice they like folks. they lock you into this this auditorium. Lock you in. You cannot leave. <laughs> you can't leave. You can't leave. It's, oh, and they don't tell anybody about it because it's illegal. The it's the day it's, of. Yeah, because it's so illegal. It's, like, it's totally illegal. <laughs> so what we're watching right now, you can you can hear it. But go to rebelbingo.com. Go to folks. go to rebelbingo.com. And and click on the black and white, the black and white version of this. Yeah. And. uh and you will see madness. It's okay. So to give you a description, but you own this room, right? Giant room, right. and there's a stage. No one's on it yet, right? It, this room is packed to the gills, and they're serving al- alcohol like crazy. And what happens is they turn out the lights, and now there's a countdown on the screen, and this huge monitor going from ten to one. And people are getting amps. They're just like they shaking are. back and forth. They, they got their it. marker and they got their fucking bingo pad. Yeah. And they're going bananas. Now at this point, people are taking off their shirts because we're slightly drunk and we're writing on each other. People are now writing and drawing patterns all over their body. All right. And as soon as bingo starts, you have dancers. Yeah. Professional English dancers come out shaking their asses in these crazy outfits. But it's like classy. It's, it's very like, classy. It's, it's like, not. Um, it's not like a strip club or anything. It's not like a strip club. It's like no. a. It's a show. It is a it's show. It's an event. It's, it's more like a Cirque du Soleil yes. type of a feel. People are going crazy. But uh, it's wild and it's really fun. And, and I would recommend that everyone follow Rebel Bingo on Twitter. Yeah. And if they come to your city, go. You have this go, is the thing. Get a ticket. You have to buy one from somebody. And it's not expensive. It's like Do twenty it. bucks it's for an experience awesome. you will literally never forget. So Rebel Bingo, if you're out there and you're listening. Come to our show. Um, co- uh, sponsor our show. Sponsor our show. I'll and I'll plug your shit. I'll promote the shit out of you. Yeah. Um, we'll send this to them. Pay pay for pay for Angela. But it's absurd. They they blow up confetti. Yeah, it's the, the guy the, the host is phenomenal. This guy has oh, a voice great. that will make you go into war. Yeah. 
he and you yes. just you literally play bingo. And if you win, you go up on stage, you dance with these girls, you get a prize. And if you lose, though, and you get on stage with a wrong card, you get booed you get like fucked. you're Hitler himself. Not in a good way. Not in a good way. Not in the way you want. Basically, at the end of the night. So this is seriously bingo. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's seriously, seriously bingo. bingo. You see the photos? It's crazy. I'm going to tell you what. It's wild, man. Folks, I don't know you can't see, awesome. but it's maybe one of the craziest rave-esque type parties you could view. It's but, just a but it's a fun, show. Yeah. It's... Uh, and they've had like senators it's, and politicians tweet at them how they're dude. how they're uh, 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 a rebellious sex party and ruining the very fabric of of culture. Like like it's 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 from England, so you know. It's a ceremony. It is. Of, um, of it's a it's a modern day badassery ritual. Yeah, it's beautiful, we, which I think we need more of. Like I was covered head to toe and oh, and and paintings and yeah, I just told, other. I told. Uh, would you tell Mel? I told the, ah, the, I told blah, blah, the future blah, blah, blah. Mrs. Fields yeah. that I was going to a bingo party. There you go. And I asked I asked her if she wanted to go. She she obviously said no, thank you. She missed out. Um, and I walked home with dicks like all over on, on my forehead. Yeah, I had a cat and face. She was on. like, "What the fuck <laughs> is that?" And I like I showed her the video, and she's like, "You didn't say you were going to." this and i did yes I like, you did yes i did yeah i said i was going to a bingo party just blame me exactly anytime you ever do anything did. weird just blame me because we're starting more, to figure that out more often times than not to it, figure out that i'm you, at the fall here <laughs> well when we hang out together debauchery it, happens it, like yeah <laughs> like be ready like be ready for help but yeah for something to what you were saying I'm, I'm into weird shit well you you are and and i i wonder if that's the generational gap between us the 10 year difference i don't think so you don't think? No. Nope. I think you're. I think you're plugged into a different um, tuning fork. I'll tell you exactly. Yes. And I, I think like I think you can't really I th- help that. I think the people that are ten years younger than you are gonna be tuned into a, kind of a li- little bit of a different frequency as I well. I don't. I yes and no. One just due to generation generational gap alone, there's gonna be differences. But yeah. two, like most of my 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 friends and colleagues, whatever, like they don't. They're not aware of some of the stuff like this because. I would say I'm so attracted to things like this is because I was so religious growing up. Like, as soon as I stopped, really? I just blew up my horizons and found just weird shit that I enjoy. I like Rebel Bingo. I like walking on tightropes and, like, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and, like, now Olympic weightlifting. Like, it's just shit that I like. What is, it, it seems to be... It's not even, like, we're just shitting on religion. It's not no, 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 we're just not. shitting on religion. We're, we're shitting on a forced paradigm way of thinking. Yeah. That's we're, what we're shitting on. We're, we're shitting on judgment. We're shitting yes. on ideologies, on no. roads that, that make you think a certain that way. Lead to an though, enclosure. Because the thing is, like, you likely aren't going to... If you if you, you don't give people the ability to question things and ask their own questions mm. and figure things out on by themselves, yes, they, they're going to. They're gonna, they're re- gonna do it. They're, like they're, they're gonna, gonna resent do you. Deep down. They're gonna resent you, and they yeah. might go to an extreme. And they they're gonna be really fucking confused. Yeah. And and yeah, they'll resent you later. Like yeah. uh, mine, I was a Mormon till I was fourteen. Okay. I grew up with a lot of Mormons. Yeah, and. Um, after you realize that, like, that's all horseshit, like, because you... <laughs> Magic you underwear do, and... Uh, once you realize, like, Joseph Smith was, like, a... A con a artist. ...fucking dude that, like, started a religion. Yeah. Um, a modern day, what's You space? don't want to get tricked again. Like, it no. did some good for me. And there's, you know. it's interesting, like, seeing all the the ex-Mormon groups out there. Yeah. Like, there's a there's a real thing that happens to Mormons in particular. I'm sure with Jehovah's Witnesses, too. Yeah. Like, extra, ex-Mormons and ex-Jehovah's Witnesses don't want to get tricked again. No. Like, they, it's like they got tricked bad. And you know and what, they, you know what is happening? Like they, they, they were made a fool of. Yeah. And they don't want to get made fun of again. So you, at least for me, I, you start questioning yeah. everything. And there's there's two roads that could go down. The one that the one that me and you did, where we ended up just broadening our horizons and really taking in just yeah. different aspects of life. And two, I notice this a lot with especially like ex religious people, they get ultra conservative. Mm. Like they become the exact opposite, but to the extreme. It's it's really weird and really just unhealthy, I feel like. Ultra conservative in the sense of and like what it, um Oh, what do you mean politically? Some, like, sometimes politically, yeah. sometimes it shows up in like just just like social settings. Like, nah. uh, how dare you, how dare you not have your kid in public school? You're, you're a homeschool. Like they become just like really just found, they wanna founded with, in one way. They want to go with the majority. Is what they want. I suppose they want to yeah. be part of what they see is like the yeah. actual what's majority, right, quote unquote what's, right. What's right? Yeah. What's been just like what's been um, the norm. Um, uh, 
supported okay. by um, the the majority of people. Yeah. Right. It's weird. It's a really weird thing. Because they thought they were. <laughs> yeah. Well, they thought they were on this. Not even. It's not even that they thought they were the majority. Yeah. They thought that they were like, yeah. like special and unique, and we're we're yeah. the only ones with the secret. Like. We're special. Like right. God loves us. Right. Like we're God's people, and that may be the case, but like that attitude in itself is so, so just that falls detrimental apart, to character building. So if that falls apart, you're what are be then? Drawn they're nothing. Toward, They've lost all self identity. You're going to be drawn toward the group right. that seems to have the most momentum behind them. The, the one that seems to be right. You know, they, yeah. the one that no one's going to make fun of me. And, no and, one's going to. And be... that may be whatever is around them. So if they're, let's say, they're in the South and they live in a very conservative community. That might be what they go might to. Might be what that is. If they live in like Portland and they're hanging out with a bunch of hippies now, maybe they'd be like that. Yeah. But regardless, any extreme in that way is probably not for the best. Yeah. Yeah, fucking that show, The Cosmos. I gotta check. Really that out. made I me. I think I'm gonna uh, eat an edible and watch it this weekend. Yeah. Just go deep. It's a good time idea. I've heard about that show really? Days. It's fantastic. Dude, you gotta watch it. Have you watched the first one? I don't Carl Sagan. I have to, I have to go check it's out. bananas. Download it. Smoke a joint it's so and just important. learn. It really is. It's so important to know how fucking crazy the universe is. It's how it's, crazy the fact that we exist here's, here's is. Something. The fact that it's that big. The fact that it works this way. Yeah. Insane, man. You know what's bananas about the universe? Uh, if anyone's out there who's like an astronomer, please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm about to talk some nonsense. But like what's crazy about the universe is all light, uh, uh, light years away. So stars, moons, whatever the fuck it may be that's providing a light source that we could visually see with telescopes or our own eyes. That happened, that particular light, millions and millions of years ago. So for us, so to put that in perspective for those who are listening at home, that's like you being on a different planet, looking millions of light years away, looking at Earth. Let's say you have the technology where you can zoom in on a city or what might be a city. That's like you looking at like year two of Earth, like a caveman dwindling away at an arrowhead. Meanwhile, we're really like in cars and shit and do this all there. But that's all you could see because that's all the lights are providing. <laughs> you could only see the past looking at space. You know what the it's funniest, fucking bananas. You know what the funniest part of that show was? What? Watching it. Um, they would they would have those moments where you're like, and what you're looking at, the stars are millions of <laughs> miles away, and it takes millions of years for it to get here, uh, and it seems to be that there's not just a universe, but a multiverse, yeah, a of billions of other universes that expand infinitely, fractally throughout existence, Fargo. and then it'd be like, and now we need a commercial break. Yeah, it's like Wells <laughs> Wells Fargo, and it was like, you need a loan. Yeah, there you so, go. So, so basically, they what... they skull fuck you with information that <laughs> you the, can't comprehend. <laughs> But then, and then they throw McDonald's in your face. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> have an apple pie. <laughs> it's going to make you feel better. Yeah. Like it, um, There's no trans fats. It's so <laughs> funny when it was like back to back like that. It's ridiculous it, what it you, is. Can, when you ponder the infinite, you you, you have to think. The, the bullshit stuff in life doesn't. It what doesn't. It, it seems nothing. silly. It, no, it is silly. Yeah. It is yeah. Silly. Well, it is silly, and you want it. You don't want it to seem normal. You, it oh. should seem silly. Oh. You know, the, and that's why like shows like this should they should be watched. People should see it. People like, need to get their minds blown. See how blowing. crazy this is. Oh. It's not as simple as like there's just a guy that uh, is bigger than us, and we can't see him, and he put up some people down on the planet, and now he's watching us like we're in an aquarium. That would be a very that's simple why way of looking at that's it. That's another reason why religion is so and, appealing. It's simpl it's simplicity almost. Like, oh, okay. We have we have this Lord and Creator who does everything yeah. for us. As long as we worship Him, well, one we, day we'll join Him and we'll be these these archangel type people who help manage the earth. And we didn't have the internet. We I mean <laughs> a the, source, the reality a source is of great like, information. the reality is until recently we were really fucking dumb. Yeah. Um, I'll show you some time. Oh yeah, we'll go we'll go another like ten minutes. Yeah. But we were like we were really not smart, and and I it's wouldn't not our fault. Okay. Is that what we do? So that... got it. Gotcha. Um, it's not our fault. We're learning. Yeah, I know. Figuring it out. <laughs> but, but now we have all this information. Oh, oh, we well, can, it's almost we can overwhelming. figure things out. It's almost we, overwhelming. It is. It's absolutely overwhelming. Yeah. But we have the ability to, to share and get information we've never had before. Be it about training, be it about the universe, be it about relationships, be it about managing life, hmm. whatever that is. And and now we can question things like we never have before. Well, now we have options. And we can accept uh, more complicated explanations for like what yeah. this is. You know, that's at the basis of, of existence, at the the biggest fundamental question is what the fuck is yeah. this? And that's what, what, then, what is this? What are we supposed to do? What yeah. are we doing? Who are you? Who am I? And I think the answer How is whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah. How, so what, long as it's what, a, a What's nice the thing. right answer? 
You know, we, we, we want to know these things. And before we had no fucking information because we were dummies. We had so, the sun and the moon so, some sticks. So if you have no information, you're just looking around and you're yeah. like, well, it seems to me that uh, probably there's like another guy that's bigger than us. Probably yeah. looks like us. And It might be that um, fireball. That might be God. That fireball. He gives us uh, heat. Because you don't have any other information. Yeah. But like we do now. Yeah. And it, we're just evolving, just like, you know, yeah. people stopped kind of believing in Zeus. <laughs> you know, and, and once once you went up to Mount Olympus <laughs> and they, yeah, how do you, they how, actually made how, it up there. Like, the coolest of gods died out. Like, what the fuck? I want to worship Odin. Well, what like, what happened to Odin? They, they went up to the mountain. He got rid of the ice giants. <laughs> what did Obama do? He didn't get rid of ice giants. <laughs> Odin did. <laughs> he, he, yeah. They, uh, they the went cool up to gods the died, man. They, they, well, they were, ne- they were never there. I and but like people now we can see out we can like see the heavens yeah. we can see we can see yeah. in very really far out there and the counter argument to this which i hear a lot when i talk when i used to talk about this for like religious people I used to go to church with it be like well that's just what you're saying is, is, is human ego and nature come uh, pushing away or allowing satanic thoughts oh, for right. you to see, negate the, the beauty that is god and and according them. to the, yeah. to their thinking and logic it makes perfect sense that human nature would be the folly and we're questioning the creator but like i don't think that's necessarily correct because now you're totally disregarding my opinion or you know what i mean like they're not they're staying trapped or like i I'm, you, you should try to just look at everything like you have to it's too conv- it's it's easy to stay trapped it's convenient too easy get it together bitches fuck easy shit get, be reckless get be nice out there get out there question things Do weird things stop l- watching commercials stop letting other people tell go to you rebel what to bingo do. do what you want to do if you like transgender chicks Try, go for it start start <laughs> approaching life like it's a video game because it is you know because it, it very likely might be. hey man you have stats have and if you're weak fun, as fuck man. just go enjoy it you know stop stop being so hard on yourself mm. stop Stop trying it, to fuck with the process. Stop it. Do do some hard shit from now and again. Every so you, day, so you enjoy the the good shit. Um, stop judging each other so much. Yeah, you know, be nice. Yeah, life's, yeah. life's more fun when you're nice. I think I think that was a meathead and mushrooms podcast. Yep, that's it. That's one. That's pretty phenomenal. One. Alec Pagan in the book. Kyle Fields. <laughs>